Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee, and uh, it's going to be a challenging day in the bee yard today. Today is the day that I need to pinch a queen. I just got a new queen. You saw in my previous video. Here she is. I don't believe I've shown it to you before. Very young queen. You can see that she's marked in blue there. And to requeen, it means that I have to pinch the old queen, which I've never done before. So I'm going to have to go into that hive that's struggling and find the queen and kill the queen, which is not fun. It's not exactly why you think about getting into beekeeping, but it has to be done as the only option for that colony to survive. Um, the second option and the final option, if this new queen doesn't take or doesn't make enough brood or any brood or if they don't accept her, the last option will be to combine that hive with my strong hive and hope that one hive overwinters uh, successfully. Ideally, two hives overwinter successfully and we start off with two hives next year. So let's see how this goes. Never done it before, so you're doing it with me. And here also is my better half. Jackie is going to help me out just to ensure my success. So, um, so anyway, thanks for joining me and see how she goes on 4D Honeybee. Okay, so the mission here is somewhat simple and I've probably just jinxed myself. I've got to find the queen. Now, so far I've been really good at finding the queen. Jinx myself again. But today is when it really counts. I've got to find the queen. And I've got a dispatcher. So, we'll look at the box first. So, I mean, the one thing that I'm... I'm wondering about switching queens is that although this queen has been absolutely non-productive, the hive is just so well behaved. It's just been a pleasure working with these bees. And hopefully the new queen will be much the same. She's a corneolan as well. So generally they're pretty well behaved. What are they doing there? Just bunching up on some, probably some honey or some comb. Yeah. You see that a lot. You see them balled up on stuff a lot. And sometimes it's the queen, but usually it's not. So here you see the, the biggest concentration right around here. And the queen's been in this upper box a lot for some reason. She's got room to lay in both. But last couple of times I found her in this upper box. That's a new toy. Is that where you hang? Yeah. 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 And I, I've always recommended it to people because there's a million things you can buy for bees and beekeepers. So but that like thing, extra set of hands. exactly, you kind of need it. First frame is so tight. Yep. So again, we're looking for the queen here. Looking for that big, beautiful body. Then I have to squish. Not likely to be on a honey frame, but you never know. It's August 21st. If I can get a new queen in here laying right away. With the number of bees in this hive, there's a very good chance. I'll reduce it to a single brood box. There's a very good chance it will survive. Is that all capped honey? Yeah, that's capped honey. And see what they normally do is they cap around the outside. Mm -hmm. Then they leave the middle for the queen to lay, but there's nothing in there. She's just not laying. She has plenty of room to lay. But she's defective in some way. And the bees have known it because they've been making queen cells, supersedure cells, for weeks and weeks and weeks. But they just haven't been successful make, making another queen. So, you'd think they would run the queen out of town, but it's too late now because there are no eggs in there. There are no eggs left for them to make another queen. I've put eggs in here, but nothing's worked. Okay, keep this one in here. Okay, now in these three to four, next three to four frames is where I would expect to find her. So 
Nice frame, just jam full of honey. What is biting me on my finger here? Okay, let's find this queen. Could you come around here beside slash behind me, hun? It's the best way to see it. Take our time with each frame. Wow, so many. This is not many, this is a light, lightly filled frame. When there's many, you actually can't see the frame. Believe it or not. But there's a good number of these in this hive. When you consolidate it down to one, mm -hmm. then it would be pretty good. Mm. Remembering that. All the bees you're seeing yeah. now. Whatever you're seeing, the bees that you're most of the bees that you're seeing now will be dead in the winter. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this so hive will go through a massive reduction. Oh, nope. See all that big pointy brood there? Mm -hmm. That's all drones. Because the cells are fatter, you see how some yeah. cells in this one are fatter? They make drones out of that because they require more space. There's the queen, right there. Oh, no, yeah, there's the queen right in the middle. See her? Oh, this one right there? Yep. That one? That's the one we have to kill. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Get your camera, camera going. Camera. Oh. I have shown it to the... Uh, oh, okay. okay. Here she's on the other side. There she is. She's just gone back to the other side. There she is. So the queen has been dispatched. And I'd love to take her home and uh, do a little autopsy on her, see if she has eggs inside or what the deal is, but I'm just not skilled enough to do that. So for now, what you'll see soon in this hive is that they'll start fanning because they'll be missing their queen pheromone and wondering where her queen is gone, where their queen is gone. So the beginning part of the mission is completed. I, I've killed the queen and you know I can't say I'm, I'm happy about it. But it's what I've decided is the best for the, the good of the entire colony. Now I've got to get the new queen in there and make sure she's in a good position to lay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to split the box I'm going to put empty frames in the bottom box so that the queen, the new queen, has a lot of frames to lay right, right away. She's laying right now. Uh, she's in a, a cage that they're going to take a couple of days to eat through the candy to free her. So hopefully in those two days they'll realize they don't have a queen. They'll realize they already knew that their queen was defective. So hopefully they're ready for a new laying queen. But what I'm going to do just to enhance those chances is I'm going to put a brood frame, maybe afraid of a frame that's a combination of brood, eggs, cat brood, and larva, right beside where I put the queen in that bottom box. So I'm going to open up this box. I'm going to open up my other hive, grab a frame from there, making sure the queen's not on there, shaking all the bees off there, putting that in there. I'm going to then put a queen excluder on that box so that she can't get up into the top box. I'm going to leave the top box because we're going to have, we're in the middle of what's going to, the beginning of a huge boom of nectar and pollen coming in from goldenrod. All, this is all goldenrod that you see around here. And it's just starting to open up. You see that? So there's a ton of resources in this hive. They don't need to be fed. They don't need anything other than a queen laying eggs. So, um, yeah, and you can see it doesn't take long for them to find a queen. So my plan was originally to get out here yesterday and find the queen, but that didn't work. And if I got out here yesterday, what the uh, 
What the master beekeeper that sold me the queen suggested to do was to kill the queen and to put her body back into the hive so there's no doubt at all that she's dead. And then put the new queen in. So, can't do that today, but I mean, they'll know immediately. They're already figuring out that there's no queen in that hive. So, next steps, set up the lower brood chamber for a laying queen. Get a uh, frame of uh, eggs and brood on there and queen excluder put this hive back together let them go for a few days and i'll show you though how i how i put the uh the queen cage in there so i'm going to take out this frame from the outside it's going to be a honey frame that's not going to be a frame that i take but i'm just taking it out so that i have room to then go into the middle and grab out a brood frame i'm just going to take a quick look for the queen here Now these bees are just a little more agitated than normal. There's a couple of the guards up checking me out, landing on me and yeah, we may drop some smoke on them, just not, not quite yet. They're settling down. Okay, I really like this next frame is full of brood, larvae and eggs. Let's have a look at it. The next two frames are looking really good. Come on bees, come on bees, come on bees. Oh man, this frame is just stuck down below us. We need a little extra torque to get it out. There we go. Yeah, look at this frame. So this is, again, the reason why we're putting this into the new hive with the new queen is that we want them to see that there's eggs, larva, and brood make them associate that with the new queen, know that that's a good thing and that should help them accept that queen more readily. It's a beautiful frame. Can you see uh, in the middle it's capped? Yeah. She starts in the middle and then she works her way out and it goes from capped to pupa to larva to a little piece of rice that looks like an egg or a little egg that looks like a piece of rice. Okay, so not likely that the queen is on this frame because she has uh, already laid in here. I'm gonna take another quick look for her and then shake these bees off and bring this frame into the other hive. I do not see the queen here. The queen that I got is marked, which makes things easier, but have been a lot better this year at finding the queen. It's okay. Okay, so this one goes in here and here's where we're gonna lay the queen. Now, the queen comes in this cage here with a couple of attendants. You see her here and she is marked. This end here has candy and they'll take a couple of days to eat their way out and eat their way in to that candy. And that's what frees the queen. You set the box in with the candy side up, you can even angle it up a little bit because if one of these workers happens to die and you've got this upside down like this, they might block the exit to the queen. You see how there's a worker going in there? They'll start eating that candy pretty quick. So we're gonna put this in like so and just kind of squish it between two frames. There we go. A little lower, a little bit of an angle. Bring the frames together, and that's the queen placed. Now, we've got the frame of brood right beside her. We've got the frame of brood right beside her. We've got all these frames except for the ends are completely empty and ready for her to lay. I'm gonna put one honey frame down here, and then I'm gonna put a queen excluder on the top here so that she can't come up. She's forced to lay down here. They can fill the top with honey all they want, but no more queen going up there because eventually I'm going to reduce this down to one box and it's going to overwinter in one box. Okay. Taking this honey frame because it's much better. Oops. Two, four, six, eight, ten. These two have to go in here. Two, four, six, eight, seven. Okay, so I gotta take one empty frame over there. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I know. I know what I said. Yeah, and I want it to be one that is nice and open for her to start laying right away. No, nope, that's not it. Don't you have to put one in the old time? That's what I'm, I'm saying. I have to put one over there for the one I took out. Yeah. No, this one's garbage. Huh? Yeah, you can put that at the very end if there's room, honey, but I'm not sure that there is. This one's gonna be it. And this is, uh, this is nothing when they're upset or they're queenless. If you left them without a queen the night before and then came back, they would just roar. When you open them up, and they're starting to get that way. You can actually, this side is really starting to roar. Yeah. Stay down there, queen. She's not going anywhere now, she's in the box. Okay, so the job is done. Now we're just gonna clean up the bee yard. It's been a mess the last couple of times I've come out because I haven't had the time to put it back together. And now we give this queen, today's Saturday, I'm gonna come back and see her on Monday and see if they freed her. Um, she's marked so she'll be an easy enough to spot. Hopefully they accept her, hopefully she starts laying. If we can get two or three brood cycles or even two brood cycles out of this queen, this hive stands a good chance of making the winter. So thanks for joining me. We'll see if she makes it again. For those of you who are not happy about killing the queen, I'm not happy about that either. That's part of what you have to be prepared to do if you're going to be a beekeeper. So thanks for joining me at 4D Honeybee.